Hi, I'm Tina, and welcome to the Deeper Than Sex podcast, where we're going to dig deep to uncover the truth about sex, love, and relationships to find out how we can be better lovers to ourselves and to others. Raphael is one of my dearest and best friends, and he is the guest on today's episode, which is all about dating apps. We talk about how much I hate them and how much he uses them to meet people. I thought everybody dreaded them, like a necessary evil if we want to meet anyone these days, but it turns out it might just be me that feels this way. At the end of the day, dating apps are what we make of them. I don't think our conversation changed my mind exactly, but I definitely can appreciate it when people know exactly what they want, go after it, and have fun in the process. I also get a kick out of hearing other people's horror stories instead of living out my own. So without further ado, please enjoy the show. Welcome to the show, Raph. Thank you for having me. Is, I'm wondering if this is... Thanks for hosting us. ...my uh, virgin podcast. Maybe it is. I was going to ask you if you've ever been on a podcast. I've been on a radio show. Same, same, same but different. Okay. 20 years ago. Not really yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's the it's same, same same thing. That's how that's how we sort of met. Yeah. Right. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Okay. Yeah, I had a college radio show, and Michael often barged his way in to be on my show. Oh, there you go. I was initially invited. And I exploited... <laughs> he was initially invited. <laughs> and then I exploited his love life for, for the, the sake of my show, because I was celibate at the time. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So well, here we are 10 years later. We're not going to do that. No, no. Here we are 10 years later, and uh, we're still talking about sex and dating because that never gets old. What else is there to talk about? But you we- know, I spoke to a friend <laughs> today. I haven't seen him in about a year, and that's all we talked about for a full 20 minutes. So. That's what I'm saying. It's the it's it's sex everybody's favorite topic. Yeah. Because that's yes. that's the stuff that you are you will always have to unpack it it's- because there's just new things going on and new new things you learn about yourself and about the different relationships that you're in, it's just a new shit show every day. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's connection. It's all about connection. And that's really, I think, one of the main reasons we're here on doing what we're doing in this planet. Sure. Connection. Yeah, I get it. So Craving it. Craving it. it. Fucking Constantly it up. craving it. Well, craving it, fucking it up, and overthinking it, again, it, and then craving overthinking it again it. with different people, and getting tired of that connection. To fulfill the void of Exactly. This is what the show is about. <laughs> yeah. Totally get it. <laughs> so it's therapy. It is therapy. Oh, Everything is therapy. It is. Yeah. And and I like to think of oh, oh, how I see sex and relationships in the, in the vein of therapy is that it's the final frontier. What you work on in therapy, when you enter into your love life, all of that goes to shit. And so that's where it's really tested. The stuff that you learn in therapy, the arena of your sex and, like, sex and relationships, it's really tested. Does that make sense? It is, but for I me, don't, this is, this is yes, how I feel. That's a personal journey. Yeah. I don't feel that way. Really? Where is your final frontier? Um... I think self fulfillment is different. I don't find I don't connect that with a partner. Okay. I think that's just part of the journey. Yeah. 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 Well, oh. that's a different episode. <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> that's a lot to unpack. Yeah. And that sounds actually more interesting than what I had in store. Oh, I don't know. This is fun. This is this, this topic is, fun. is fun. This is fun. And actually, we could use a fun episode because I feel like we've gotten pretty heavy the last couple of episodes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So today we're talking about dating apps. Love them. Do you? Oh, initially I thought we were talking about hookup apps, so maybe same I'm same. Well, that's the, the thing. Well, that's 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 the thing. Is like dating well, apps are what you make maybe same. what you make of them, sure, right? And I feel like my attitude towards them, and um, and that's shared with a lot of heterosexual women. Yep. I feel like straight women don't like dating apps. They feel like it's just a just an uncomfortable, necessary thing if you want to meet people. That's just Why the reality. Is, is this the reality of our times? I don't know. I think about it all the time because obviously I'd like to meet somebody new. And it's... I kind of feel the same way, though. You feel the same way. So I maybe feel the it's same just way. a straight thing. I don't know if, I don't know if Ellie, Ellie, my partner, feels the same way about it. Because uh, I know she's she's used them and, and seems to enjoy what she uses them for. Um, which is not... It's sometimes it's hookup. Sometimes it's it was for... Um, connecting in general just like i'm in town i'm floating around in another city who's around i guess it, it's just like anything else it's what you make of it right but i will say though just to be clear on the definition of the apps that we're talking about because <laughs> any app could be a dating app like True. Sure. Yeah. people yeah, yeah, i used yeah, to yeah, use yeah, craigslist yeah. for connecting with people not Was because it an app though no but i mean i mean pre-app yeah, days yeah, but pre-app days. yeah 1.0 yeah right i mean so <laughs> half the apps that we're using were websites first anyway right yeah, match sure. and ok yeah. cupid and all of those application application yeah. it's an application well i mean it's so funny that from a dating perspective it wasn't <laughs> The the names of these apps are less yeah. were so obvious in the 
you know, 1.0 days. <laughs> well, and I also literally didn't use, called gaydar.com. I didn't use. Yeah, that was that the original yeah. gay dating I mean, there's application? There's gaydar.com and gaydar.com. Huh. And there was Do those still Adam exist? for Adam. I think they've all shut down. Okay. Um, there was um, something that starts with an M8, Manhunt. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, which became a porn studio for half a second. Uh-huh. I don't ask me why I know that, but yeah. I just do. I mean, you're just. A we are, we of spend the, time a lot yeah, online, yeah. right? We're, we're like we're the the first digital natives. Mm. Yeah. Did if you, you have an obsession, you have well, to and I, I feel like the different perspectives between gay community and straight community, and how your attitude about dating apps is that I feel like it's a an empowerment tool. It's like a way to actually connect with people, whereas maybe it's a little bit more challenging if you move back like a couple decades. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Whereas I don't know, it's a safety thing for me. Just well, like, it's a safety uh, thing for meeting? us, right? Because we don't have safe spaces in the real world. And so but, but we retreat yeah, yeah. to a digital life to connect with people. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're abundant with safe spaces in a hetero world. So we, we have abundant spaces to meet. It people. almost makes it more awkward in our world. To be on the apps, I mean. Right. Not I guess in the real world. Trying to connect with people in general is an awkward Awkward thing. Yeah, period. I guess, like, I it would be, really be great to do it from the comfort of your home. I didn't like your feel couch, like that was on your couch. I didn't feel like that was the case. Or maybe it was just younger and I had less inhibitions to or less things blocking me. But I didn't feel like that was the case. If I was out and about and I was more easily ready to, to meet somebody. Okay, you know? maybe it's just me, guys. All right. Let me, let maybe me I'm ask, just really awkward. May I ask a question? Sure. If you're out in the quote real world, <laughs> would you go up to someone and go Hey, who are you? Like, how are you doing? Do you ask them out? Now? No, 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 no. no. Well, Back then. Back then? Um, I don't know if I'd go and ask them out, but I might talk to someone. Although I drank more back then, so I probably didn't have as much filter on myself to just be like, yo, dude, what's and up? And when we say back then, if we say like 10 years back, That's, right? We're in our 20s yeah. in college at the time. Right. There's just more opportunity, social opportunity to meet people. So it's less it's less um, stressful to to just meet somebody like... Yeah, like versus far, now in our like mid lives, we have to put on clothes to actually go out. And, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you have to try a lot harder. Some yeah, like. absolutely. Some <laughs> yeah, whereas yeah. the rest, like the foundation of the opportunity to meet people, is already set up in your in your yeah. early twenties. Well, and it's also yeah. Well, so it, like maybe you're in a school, maybe you're in a particular group. If you're working in an office, maybe you have avenues to meet people and then go out and have drinks and. Right. Uh, working freelance, that's not the case. Like I have a project that goes away. I've got nothing but me, myself, and my home. What do you do to fill your time? Dating apps? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never really, uh, barely ventured with with the dating apps. I've looked at them. I browse them. I've can talk to a few people, but sure. I've not really had a lot of uh, let's go and connect. Um, maybe one where I actually connected and then that led to a two-year relationship. Prior to that, it was like MySpace way back when, but I never met somebody off of it. It was like somebody I knew met someone off it and I was like uh, wingman. Right. And that's not really a dating app per se. Uh, it's it's where I think we discovered we needed dating because we had MySpace and whatnot and then we had Hot or Not and they're like, like what Hot we- or Not? Right. Oh, Which, I didn't use that. You yeah. didn't, but do you know what it is? Yeah, I, know what it is. And I so, forgot all Facebook, about though. that. Yeah, but I forgot all about that. The I feel like someone's like, oh, wow, people like looking at the pictures of this and oh, people like connecting and oh, they probably just, we all want to date and you're looking at what AOL Instant Messenger was doing, all the chat rooms and are like, you know what? Let's just combine all this. Yep. And I think Matcher was one of the early, early ones, if I yeah, remember. So that I paid, was way I back then. I mean, if you go way back, every yeah. like portal had a dating site. Like Yahoo had personals. Right. MSN yeah. had dating. Like right. they actually were Craigslist branded. had the thing. Although I, mean, inspired I by never news, met newspapers. Right? Yeah, I never tried that. Yeah. yeah, section of newspapers. Can you yeah. imagine? Going on publishing, a newspaper? No, pu- well, yeah, publishing a, a dating. A dating not in a profile, Not even yeah. a profile. Like, what do you even call that? Like, just your little. It's a listing. It's a listing. Yeah. 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 You like list, you're trying to sell a piece of furniture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't see listings like that in the newspaper for almost anything now. So, like, there's an app. Online. There's yes. online. Yep. You know, there's there's all these different avenues to find anything wait you said you use craigslist well so not for dating i used it to like i would always just use it to find people no i i browse i for m i browse those just out of curiosity but uh okay. no i used it for like looking for bandmates and looking for for um uh 
No, we're talking about no, no, no. no listen, the fuck. I understand that. <laughs> oh. I ended up creating relationships and have have fucked people as a result of some of those meetings. Yeah, so it was, a, but it was an in, it was an unintentional. Yeah, right. but yeah. I know. Then that's where I was like, oh, I know this exists there too, and I browsed it. But it was mostly just ads for hookers. But like and, the first yep. platform you use deliberately to meet somebody for the sake of dating or fucking. Uh I browsed a bunch, but I think OK Cupid is the only one I've actually used and yeah. pursued someone. I think for me it was Match, Match, and I paid for it. Yeah, I looked at all those. I don't know. Is is, is Match still a pay a paid service? Some there are paid Some, yes. services, and then it's like you get you get like a, a free. Yeah, that's yeah. like their subscription. That's their monetization model, right? So they yeah. get you, right, and right. maybe I think uh, Hinge only has like ten matches a day. Yeah. And then you might move on to another tier. I think okay, it, Cupid and Match do okay, the same. Yeah, okay. I think yeah. with Match, it, it was, I can't remember exactly. It was probably a quiz or something. And then it baited me into signing up for it. Right. And then a trial for X amount of days. Yeah, some of them don't let you actually talk to the people. Like, yeah. you can't respond you can't without see their signing picture. up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cupid was pretty, is pretty free and open. What is the one that you take a quiz? Is that OK Cupid? That's OK Cupid has a million quizzes. Yeah, and I right. think that gives you percentages, so you got like yeah, more so stats. Yeah, it's like a quote algorithmic way of matching. I think it's I think it's interesting. I really enjoyed because OK Cupid. you can go in and read all the questions and be right. like, oh, right, right, right. is this person into it? You'll see if they what questions are willing to answer. So mm-hmm. if you're looking for more fucking. You can be like, oh, they answered more of the kinky yeah. sexual it's questions. That's the app for that. I can't imagine. No, that, that's it's there too. Perspective. Oh, I it's see. it's everything on there because you have all those avenues. Okay. It is. I mean, yeah. again, it is what you make <laughs> my, of it. My grandmother was using it and said so. that there was like it was just like oh, it's just a bunch of young guys trying to fuck people. I'm like, oh, she used OK Cupid. I don't remember which one. Maybe it was Match, but she okay. my gra- I didn't know this until more recently, but uh, yeah, she said she went on some dates. She was dating like younger Good guys for her. out there. Yeah. Um, I don't know that she's done that for quite a bit, but uh, I just thought it was interesting. I was like, wow, everyone, everyone gets there, into there's, it. There's a dating platform for everybody. Yes. There's an ad for for divorced, you know, middle-aged <laughs> people. Our time, I think it's what it's called. Right. There's I mean, there. there's a lot of kind of subculture-based apps, like for older, yeah. an older generation. Like there's J-Date, obviously, there's, which is like a very pointed one. Yeah. And then there's like Plenty of Fish. Right? right, coffee you meets bagel. Use I've never used fish? plenty of fish, but that's one of the early ones, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's just you know these kind of I, I want to say devolve into mm-hmm. a very niche subculture. I mean, it's the same with gay apps, mm-hmm. where it's like one specific subculture uses a specific app for their own thing. There's, there's I mean, a new one down here too called uh, Kindra, which is like um, it's open relationship style, and oh, that's the whole basis of it. I, I don't think it's got a huge following yet, but. Right. Um, it's from LA. Spell that, spell that Kindra. again. Kindra. K I N D R A. Kindra. It's yeah. Yeah, I think I don't know that it has an Android yet, but it's totally on iOS. Interesting. But that that raises the issue of adoption, right? If not a lot of people are using it, then you have a small pool to work from. Do you even want that? No, I mean, yeah, maybe. No, and that's why you need. Well, so, so you want early adopters? No, no, no. Well, here it goes. Uh, maybe what, you want a smaller. What's your kink? Maybe yeah, totally. maybe you want a smaller pool because you're doing uh, you doing you have um. A more curated, not necessarily for the early adopters, but more so different apps will have a more curated crowd. You're not going to find, I'm not going to find Tina Lee on, on Kindra. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Likely not going to happen. But for whatever app that fits my niche, I just wouldn't use it because I'm trying to, the, my, the, the whole reason for me to even bring myself to the point of downloading an app, creating a profile and doing all that song and dance is the promise of a, of a wide, to, to cast a wider net. Now, if I, if as from your couch, from my, <laughs> okay. or from the bus, <laughs> yeah. but it's just not worth it to me because I know how hard it is to get a sig- you know, like a good amount of people to use a, a, an app. And so how many people do I, am I really shopping from? Yeah. You the, might be shopping from a couple hundred, right? Yeah. But depending on the app's purpose, like when it's a GPS based, you know, or a location service, yeah. I could drive around town and meet new people. Well, let's talk about that because because one of the, the most popular gay dating apps is is all about that. It's all about proximity too. Yes. Yeah. Grinder. Grinder. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yes. It's they not just, a bad word. They say who. They say <laughs> who. <laughs> they say who's around. Right. That's the one that. Yeah. So it bases. It will say if you are both on it. It will say that you are about a couple feet away from or zero from right feet now, away. or zero that's, feet that's away. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so you um, turn it on kind of creepy club, too, at a cool. club. You know you'll. 
But is there no like straight app that does that? There no, because there's no. There is. Is there? There. Well, I don't remember what it's called, but there was one where it's like I'm you. I'm sure were, there is one. Yeah, I, I forgot what it's called. I'm sure. I think I isn't could, Hinge based on location? I don't think so. I'll Hinge is right based now. on a connection through people. I thought with that Facebook and, or something like that. I thought it and was proximity? and proximity because what no happen sorry oh, happen, happen yeah i happen, actually h a p p n h a p p i read about is that meant, is meant is meant to connect you with people who you may have crossed paths with yes. in person happen that was the one i think i was thinking yes. of yeah. a dating app not too dissimilar from craigslist missed connections the app only shows users people they've crossed paths with literally this is from the cut yeah it's actually yeah. number 10 on their list <laughs> it's a cute idea it's a cute idea but whatever the platform is, I feel like people are so jaded now that the way that they use apps and the way that like the I had a, a couple months ago. Who are these jaded people? These jaded people, I don't know, but the straight men that I've communicated with on Bumble, Tinder, they just there's a there's an attitude about I think we all share like a negative attitude about using it, so it comes through when they're trying to communicate with you or you're trying to just like you know, on a Wednesday in the middle of work, I'm trying to message you and I'm not necessarily at my best. And there's a pressure to perform all the time. And I was called out on that. I was like, oh, you're boring. I'm like, it's Wednesday afternoon and I'm working. But why are you on there then if you're working? Because I Wednesday was in a desk. I was in a bad place. <laughs> working. Uh, yeah. So I, I will say this because my therapist Don't told me like this. Don't act like you were on your phone when you're working. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm blatantly on it. If you get a buzz, it, yeah, if your phone buzzes, it. you're going to check it. Well, sure. I and think you know? um, the worst place to be, not that I'm giving relationship advice or when you should use your apps. Is Please do. I mean, you're in a don't, relationship. Don't use an app when you're in the middle of something. Because it does take concentrated effort. And I think that's where people fail in connecting, right? Because you're like, oh, you're not, I'm not my best. But when will you be? I think that's a point. It's a convenience. Wait, you just said not to use the app when you're in a relationship? No, no, no. When you're not at your best. <laughs> oh, not at your best. Yeah. I, I didn't yeah, say yeah, anything. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah. judge. People yeah. can use it when they're in a relationship. I don't know. I mean, I, I was just on it because in that moment I had a lull. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It just it just rubbed me the wrong way and it just reinforced my attitude about it. Sure. You went in there with that attitude about it, though. I, like you I, had no, a I'm, always, I'm always hopeful. I'm always hopeful. But I think if with two sides come at it with a negative attitude. What app was this? This was Bumble. This is the one that's meant oh, to put it, the yeah, power in my hands. Is a feminist app? That's a lot more pressure, though, it's isn't it? It's meant to put the power in my hands. And, and I is that really not based just, on proximity as well, or your city? You can see, lo- I mean, you, no, it's not, like, not like no, that. No, like it, actual like, distance. You can say it's LA. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Just like yeah, any yeah. Other. It's what you decide right. your location. So if you is. want to date in Calabasas, then you'll <laughs> you can you can be in yeah, Calabasas. Yeah, but that one is the one where if you match, it's similar to Tinder, but the only caveat is that the woman has to reach out with the first message. Although Bumble has a, a gay dating strange. app called Chappy. Oh yeah, and it's the same thing. And That's so cute. instead of of you know so the female who's... counterpart engaging, everyone can engage. It's the same platform. But it's just very focused for a specific. Population. Okay. Okay. So there's, there's no in that situ in that situation. How do you then decide who's the? There is first no one consent. To, right. There's <laughs> yeah. No. There's, there's, let's just be clear. <laughs> I don't know. I just my last experience really stuck in my mind because typically I've never had someone complain about me being boring. Did you meet this person in real life? No. Or? No. Okay. But it, we we barely exchanged messages. I don't know what he was expecting. I think he was a volume messenger. Sure. You know, just going through the list and just like who's entertaining. And then he just like cuts out people like really ruthlessly. Like we literally just matched probably that morning. Right. And I was like, oh, you know, and in the afternoon when I had some time, messaged him back. Wasn't super verbal. Just kind of answering his questions. And he was like, are you always this boring? Walk us through and the I experience, went, huh? though. I mean, walk us through the experience of, like, Sounds toxic. what photo oh, do yeah. you have? <laughs> what photo? What was Ooh. his photo? Oh, I like this question. I don't, I, honestly, it, I, it's all a blur. I don't remember what his photos were. Right. Do you but remember what yours I was? try. I try to have a couple of, like, my best, like, close, you know, close-up selfies. Sure. But a couple of, like, fuller body shots so they know what they're working with. So yep. they know that I'm a smaller Asian woman. Right. I feel don't like they it's say important. the height though? I mean, it's, it's very. They important. do, but you know, you want to see. I don't know. You just want to give them a full picture. Right. Yeah. And can you filter? Like, can you filter? What can you filter? Filter as like, in as in your searches. Oh, so um, I'm, you, age. 
probably you know i don't really use it that often to even tell what, you exactly what but i i focus on age and i focus on height right and i focus on uh i think you could i mean on on any of the criteria so like religion if you wanted i don't use right. i don't really care yeah, for that sure you could even filter out race i believe okay don't quote me on that though I, you can always filter out you can filter in religion how can you filter out specific religions? Be like, I just don't want this, this, or this. Everybody else. Well, you're if you fine. choose, if you choose <laughs> one, two, and three, you're obviously excluding right. the rest. That's so interesting. In gay yeah. apps, there's never a religion uh, box to begin with, so yeah, you can't you don't filter feel that, that out. out. I mean, you have more uh, specific things because we do use it to hook up. Let's be honest, right? So there's position, there's relationship status, there's health status, there's uh, and we're the, talking about Grinder specifically, or all of them? Grinder, like this? Scruff, uh, Tinder. Tinder doesn't have a few of those things. How many options does it give you with position? Five. It's a spectrum. Right. Everything yeah, is a spectrum. <laughs> no, I'm right? just curious. Right. Yeah, yeah. In religion, there's no spectrum. Right. And, you know, height is a spectrum. It just goes up, right? And religion is. I think debatably there is spectrum in religion, but they don't I, I, give it. They're not going to no, say like well, how how. We, we, yeah. No, but like the types. And I think <laughs> right. if you're on a gay dating app, no one really no. wants to know your religion. Yeah. I mean, gay really. dating app. It's out. I mean, it's it's just straightforward a hook a hookup app regardless. Right. Of what it's not necessarily. Not necessarily. I think, uh, if you're leading with what's your favorite position. You don't have to have that. You don't have to. Yeah, you can say uh, the, the sixth you can one is do not But show. I just mean like if you that's if that's it. the option though, it's like on the forefront. They don't they don't oh, put yes. that on straight apps, I don't believe. Well, because it's uh uh how should I No, you'll get different like the OK Cupid will you get be different level levels of it. Completely well, the mechanics of straight people about. is kind of very, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about top or bottom? Yeah, pretty much. That's, so that's what you mean by, you can be explicit here. Oh, no, 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 I'm leading up to it. He's just a five, <laughs> so I'm, that's why I was it. curious. Yeah, so there's there's top, there's verse top, there's verse, there's mm-hmm. verse bottom, and there's bottom. It's a whole spectrum. And the six is do not show. Yeah. I'm sorry, verse top and, you don't and verse bottom, what, don't. What, what, what is the so variance So in the middle, there's versatile, so you can top and bottom. Right, but you I, prefer but top you, or bottom, you, that's yeah, what that so means. Yeah, so like a verse top would like a, do a 25-75 split okay. between <laughs> topping and bottoming. Right. They would prefer top. They would prefer yeah. topping, but and a verse bottom is... You know, twenty five percent topping, but Three really, out of four times, yeah, to top or, or like it's only like one out of ten times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so there's that spectrum, and then like, they talk about the tribes they're in, and that's their kinks or who they think they belong to. Um, and so there's a what lot kind of, of variances these, there. There, um, they, I think that's more uh, how they self identify in terms of tribes, and so there's the jocks, the rugged so types. They're, so they're more. They're genre they're based, dis- sort of yeah. Thing. They're genre based, Interesting. and some we people either use that to describe themselves or the type of tribe they feel like they belong to. Like they could be an otter, they could be a bear, they could be a daddy, they could be a jock, they could sense. be a twink. You so know, I was you, going you to have ask way more you, lingo. In I was your... going to ask you about the otter thing because I was watching a very straight broy podcast today, sure. and they were talking about the different animals, sure. and I thought that they were just pulling stuff out of their ass like oh no. they think they know what they're talking about but an otter is an actual thing yeah so there's bears there's pandas right. which is an asian bear there's sure. otters there's wolves <laughs> which are taller are otters polar bears? Right? Yeah. um i yes there are they would be older white bears oh wow right and so there's extinct. that distinction or not, uh, we extinction. can't we're not ageist in the gay community <laughs> so we extinction can, that's I mean, just a, that's just a we, harsh reality we want them to live forever certainly I yeah too. and so and then there are um I don't think twinks are an animal, but I mean, <laughs> there's different types. Certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and kind of how they self-identify as that. Yeah. And then there's obviously there's the puppy play, but that's a whole other section. That's where they identify as um, uh, they emulate kind of uh, canine play. Yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. So they use, that's the sixth item in the drop down. I actually there it's not. That's it's, that's an app all on its, its own. I think so. I, it's got to be. Very that's so sub- specific. I mean, we can go look for. I don't necessarily think that's a. Uh, I think that's more a community app. I'm trying to be <laughs> politically correct because they're trying to yeah. find their tribe. Is there? I mean, I would imagine the root of why there's so much, not I mean, coded language. I guess, I guess yeah, right? Sure. Code words for everything is yeah. because you can't talk openly about this stuff. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, you could, and it's. I mean, there's a whole etymology around uh, codes with hankies in your right or left 
backside pocket when you used oh. to go to gay bars. Yeah. And so and so that was basically your tribe and what, what kink you're in. So, for example, if you had a yellow bandana on your... So if you it's on the right-hand side, you're a taker. If you're on the left-hand side, you're a giver. And if you had a different type of bandana color, that would mean something. Like yellow would mean you're into piss play. Brown would mean that you're into black guys, which is very obvious and blatant. Yeah. Red is if you're into some blood play or fisting. And so it changes. And so you don't necessarily have that. Now I always thought it was a fashion thing. Yeah. To have like a bandana on your right hand, you know, or, or in your pocket. Until somebody asked me and they're like, what does your bandana mean? Someone asked you that. Yeah, somebody Yeah, somebody did. The things that you guys have in your apps um, for filtering are, are so different than what we have. So completely different. Yes, and so that I mean, from a data, it kind of cuts cuts it the fat, sense, so to speak, yeah. right? Because if you think of the like back to the positions, like being a top or bottom, and your preference, yeah, in bed, essentially, if you want a romantic relationship that goes beyond a coffee date, yeah. you want to know that you're matching. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting your time, right? Yeah. Like, but matching in a very explicitly sexual way. Well, absolutely. Which, but, oh, I, and, I, are, and I'm saying that, I'm emphasizing that because I appreciate just how straightforward it is. We're not just bullshitting with all this other stuff that really, at the end of the day, doesn't matter. Because on straight apps, it's about hookups, but we all pretend like we're. it's not about the hookups. Some. Most. Yeah. We, we have, we have a, we have a love-hate blatant. with hookup, hookup culture. Right. You know, everybody's hooking up, but we don't really like that. Because we all want to be in relationships. We don't want to admit that necessarily because we don't want to put ourselves but, out But there. I think there should be some freedom in saying that you just want to hook up, period. And I think there's just a lot of stigma around it. Yeah, right? around, like, around wanting that or around... Like men yeah. and women, right? Around Or even around saying that you don't want that. We have to yes. pr- we have to act like we don't really, you know, that we're cool with it. Or maybe that's just me. I'm realizing maybe it's just me. It's my baggage. Yeah. Well, I mean, everyone who doesn't have baggage, right? <laughs> Yeah, but I do, I mean, it's hopeful when you hear the stories of people who've met, you know, on dating apps and now they're married and all that. I put a, I put a little, uh, like a little poll, you know, yes or no poll on Instagram mm-hmm. just to see what people's attitudes about dating apps were. And I realized as a straight person who's in their mid thirties, my audience is all settled. Nobody really even had anything. How did they all meet? Um, well... <laughs> In our friendship circles at the gym. Oh, okay. So X them. <laughs> so forget Love you that. All. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna talk about you. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's a, there's MySpace. Someone someone said they met Great. their wife on MySpace. Mm-hmm. Um, Facebook college. Okay. You know we got your college sweethearts. Right. Bumble I f- hear about more as a, a success than others, but that's probably really? just yeah. Interesting. Why? I don't know. I mean, I I know people surprisingly who have done. Well, on Tinder, which I've always thought was kind of a shit show, but I haven't heard too many on Bumble. I think with Tinder, it's a volume game. I mean, I... I don't know if that's entirely true. The, the last a lot of time, frogs to yeah, find a prince. I, the last time I logged on to Tinder, I'd Super match cool. with like 594 people. Mm-hmm. And this is because I, you know, I traveled. This is when I traveled a lot. Are and, you a constant right I mean, swiper? Why not? I mean, yeah, sure. It's just... Well, no, I'm not no. a constant... I know someone who used to do that and would swipe on all that, of That's the, the volume game. Right? Like, yeah. they would they would swipe on... I can't do right, that out of principle. I was on a set once and watching an actor. He just <laughs> swiping right the whole time. I was like, really? Well, because There's I think no they filter? just want something to come back to them. And, and yeah, I think but what if, it's a volume yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so there's a lot of frogs there. <laughs> and, then, and then I think it's just a second layer of, well, we'll now have a choice. But the last... Um, the last time I logged on there, actually, this was like four years ago. I ended up dating someone for a little bit, but because it didn't have the position situation. <laughs> you didn't know. Like, I didn't know. And yeah, like yeah. two months later, we were like, what's going on? And it just didn't match. So, so you dated you dated and held, held off on all that until two months in. I think we, I th- for us at least, I think Tinder was meant to be uh, more of a serious thing. And I know it's not in the straight world, so we'll get into that. In yeah, actually, can. we it's just get into both, that right now. Right. Let's get into that right now. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's, it's really like, it's an to the point earlier, there. like what, what it's an app is what you make out of it. So yeah, sure. for, for, um, for Grinder, it's hookups. For Tinder. Not necessarily. I mean, my boyfriend and I met on Grinder. But that's just happenstance, though, right? I mean, I, there's a lot of stories. Yeah, like yeah. if you, you, you never know, but the intent is. I, my best friend I met on a 
gay dating app. I mean, I, a, a lot of people I know have been yeah, on yeah. The intent it's, is what you make. It's Facebook. Like, I met it's them all on Facebook. my couch. Yeah, it's, it's a social network. The, yeah. the, the intent is what you make it. It's 100% what you make yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah. You can be on there for hookups. You can be on there to meet people. You can be, some people use it for business. Some people, which is strange to me. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, if your business is in the realm of touching bodies, like there's a lot of maybe. masseurs well, no, and not, sex workers. Not that kind of business. Oh, yeah. I've seen Personally. people on there just like, I don't, I, there are, there is an app for that now too. Yes, um, called, called Shaper. Called LinkedIn. Oh, well, the LinkedIn. <laughs> no, the, the Shaper is another one where you're kind of swiping and it's about connecting for business. The what? Shaper. Oh, okay. That's a business one. Shaper. That's that's the only one that's not a dating app, but still is a relationship connecting yeah. app. Yeah. Um, there's so many that just like, what, there's like what, based. like 50 people on each? Like what are not we Not Bumble. About? I don't think you swipe on Bumble. Bumble, or Bumble's, Bumble's a swiper. swipe. They're all so Bumble's a swipe. Okay. And you swipe, there's the same fucking people that you're swiping left on, on Tinder uh, but, or on Bumble. But it is a volume game. But they But they present themselves differently on Bumble because it's female forward. Right. They present a little bit more respectable kind of, you know, whereas t- Tinder is a little so bit like more, more like Sunday's best. Um, yes. And Tinder is more like, here's me Saturday and night. Mykonos or. Or yeah, 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 like, yeah. Party you know, by, the, by the beach. It's a little bit more right. right. But then you have Hinge is one, which Hinge. I don't I, know. Maybe I've that's the one it. that we that were just talking about, right? Facebook. So yes, I, yeah. uh, I just went to a wedding two weeks ago in Seattle, and the couple got like actually met on Hinge. Interesting. Yeah, and the, their hashtag was Hinge to Hitched, and so oh. I'm advertising your hashtag. Friends. <laughs> but but it was there and and there are success stories from a lot of these apps i, I mean, mean just I'm, like in I real life like, yeah exactly yeah but uh i don't know i i just i just hate it and i think but I, but i hate i hate that the pra- the practice of just even trying to date at all like i just really am grossed out by it that's my problem even beyond the dating apps yeah okay why is that now this is therapy <sighs> tina i know yeah I think because mostly, like, I, I, I have a lot of um, male friends, but once it enters into that territory, most men gross me out. I Like, I don't really want anything to do with them. Straight men, anyway. Right. As far as sexually. Like, I'm just not, like, it just, it's just really limited as to who I feel that desire for but if you saw the goods first like we do you know exactly <laughs> it's not goods, what's coming it's not entirely goods based I mean, it's not just the body but you get everything i mean it helps like it kind helps of it's, it's the start get to filter them yeah it's the starting point that's for sure right but I mean, there's just there's just so much and i don't know i don't know what the issue is but there's a hang up there with dating in general with dating in general yeah okay the worst is when you finally meet up with somebody which i i prefer to just match and then meet up with people because i hate the 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 song and dance that you do and the messaging you know that's part of the hunt though but none of it is real though but none of it's real none of it nobody's genuine anymore it's all like trying to be clever and one-up each other and and prove that you're worthy enough to meet in person i remember once upon a time when i (laughs) once upon a time when i was using like match and okay cupid it was a little bit i felt like we weren't trying as hard now it's like we have to just dance like monkeys in order to get noticed. But I think it's, I mean, we're in an attention economy, right? You need yeah. to absolutely draw someone in and are they interesting enough? And Which, I mean, you got to do that at a bar too or wherever yeah, exactly. you meet somebody. But that to but me is easier. It is because you're having real one-on-one sort yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I prefer to meet people in but person. you've already to. put on clothes. I mean, let's let's get this like, <laughs> yeah, you like could do this the theme. You've already right? put on clothes. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, I have great photos that I've carefully cur- curated and yeah. filtered, and here's this person. And then when you're at a bar, it's like, well, I bothered to do all this stuff, but everyone's preening, right? Everyone's like, yeah, you're out there peacocking, everyone's and showing peacocking your feathers, and yeah. showing your feathers. Yeah, but but you can find other people to talk to that have that you, that you're not trying to date them, right? There's friends you could be, ha- you can have, you could be with friends first right. of all. You could talk to other people and just realize that, oh, you're just friends, but there's no pressure, right? Whereas on a dating app, it's like, entertain me. That was the that was the the vibe I got the last time I tried to use it. And I was just like, ugh. When was the last time you tried to use that? It was just a couple months ago. Oh, in LA? In LA. Oh, of course they're looking for entertainment. <laughs> Where do we live? Yeah. Speaking of LA, um, is is Raya the one that's for influencers? Um, is there's, it Raya? Yeah, there's That's Raya, right. yeah, and Raya then there's the called League. the League. Yeah, I so feel you like have there's to another apply one too. for that influencer yeah. app. Yeah, so for dating, no, it's dating app for influencers. Yeah, man, the other way around. Yeah, so, so you if you have, have an to, audience of a certain level, then you get to level is right. Uh, yeah, right? that sounds 
awful. Yeah, it is. No, but if, but but if you're but a single I'm, celebrity, if you actually are famous, it's something that you can not, use. Okay. But. <laughs> Well, influencers I, I think is like they, the catch-all, but then yeah. there's yeah. celebrities in that, and they're in their own stratosphere. Sure. And if that's the case, I would create an app called Pariah, yeah, and just invite the bottom feeders. <laughs> Me and my friends will hang out there. You know? <laughs> yeah, it sounds fun. That sounds great, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I think it's appropriate. Like they should have that. I guess because so. Yeah. Because then you know you feel like um, well, I was gonna say people. You know what people's intentions are, but if you if you have an audience, you kind of share a commonality that some the pariahs don't have. <laughs> well, I think they have the same. Like with anything, when you try to find people in with commonalities, right? Like, right. Would it be great if I had you know a friend group that worked in tech? you know, that lived in, that was adventurous, that liked to cook or whatever, that would be interesting. But then people want the opposite too, right? Because you want someone complimentary from a different part of the world that Mm -hmm. opens up your experiences. Yeah. And so you kind of can choose, pick and choose, depending on what apps are available or what filters are there. Can you filter for jobs in any of these now that I think about uh, it? Salary. Profession. Really? There is yeah, some yeah, salary yeah. Oh, on them. Oh, really? yeah, totally. We don't yeah. have that. Yeah. Wait, which one has salary, though? <laughs> we do um, not have that. Is there, it OkCupid? Okay some of them. Uh, I think OkCupid okay has salary. I feel okay like OkCupid okay is pretty granular. Like, you can, yeah, you, could, you can get real down to the right. nitty-gritty. Yeah. And right. you can get position things because it's in the questions. Because there's in so many quizzes, questions. Yes, you just absolutely. keep taking questions. You get more and more precision as to who and what I'm surprised you can people find. don't like OkCupid okay as much because I really the only one I appreciate like. I appreciate the quiz part of it because it also it's gives you the too. shorthand of like okay they're more like a friend compatibility but would you actually connect with that person as a friend on that level I don't know but it gives you an idea so you can kind of quickly you know parse right. out who's not gonna so match I, on a romantic level yeah so when I moved to Seattle ten years ago I knew literally two people there. And so I downloaded all the apps and not that I'm proud of this stat, but I used to say this during dates or like when I meet friends is that it it absolutely is a volume game, but I used it to actually meet people to introduce me to a city. Yeah. And so in six weeks, I went on 23 dates. It's like two birds with one stone. Is that? Well, yes. And so I'm like, and and actually there are advice, like there are kind of, uh, columns and, and articles that say, well, sure, use it for whatever you want it, like we yeah. said. But it introduced me to the city a lot more from a perspective of a local. And I didn't, like, I didn't whore myself out to, like, you know, for a tour guide. But I only slept with, you know, one or two of those people. Four. Um, just but, the ones that you connect with. Well, absolutely. Yeah. But, um, and it ended up just being more fulfilling when it was kind of clear what I was after. I didn't have to try so And hard. also you got 23 different perspectives uh, and points the in the city. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah. But some are boring. Like one, we went to Chipotle. I'm like, what is this? Well, like, then you <laughs> knew that was a friendship. Well, absolutely. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, like, what Chipotle? are we doing here? <laughs> I could get this in any city. Yeah, exactly. Although I'd never had it at that point. And so okay, I'm like, well, that's oh, fair. well, that's, yep. Yeah, because I was new to America lunch, at that lunch point. day? Uh, it was. Hopefully. Yes. Not a dinner day. Well, well kind of like a late, Mid afternoon, like it's a, a mid afternoon yeah. snacky. I mean, thing. if you okay. like them young and they're treating you to Chipotle, that means they're just yeah. like. Well, at that point, I didn't. I was kind a different of different career I had to level. Cast Get yourself a nice, a wide net, right? In one day, I had and I was trying everything. Like in one day on Grinder, I met uh, four different people who had like preset but mm-hmm. didn't really know what I was getting myself into because mm-hmm. the first one was a running date at seven a.m. by Elliot Bay. That's cool. That sounds like that's so sounds it was like you. Torturous. Why yeah. would you do that? Yeah, because he was a runner, and I'm like, oh, this could be. It hot. was his idea, it and you said hot. sure. Um, why well, not? Well, because I had three other dates that day, and so I had to fit in. <laughs> but it's a nice way to start your morning, no? <laughs> well, absolutely. And then it kind of set me up for the second one. Yeah. And then were you were you in shape was at the like time? Brunch. Did you tell each? Of, yes. Did you tell each of them that you were on a date previously? And so the fourth one, you're like, oh, God, my no. fourth date. Oh my the God, day. no. <laughs> I'm just curious. Well, the last one was a coffee date, and I think he wanted a bit more. Yeah. And I was kind of like, look, I'm really tired, and I don't think we were really a match. Yeah. But then I. I like got to see a new place in the city, which was great. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I use these people. Well, but Isn't that what coffee's for? You're really tired, so. <laughs> well, I mean, I was having tea, like we are now. Um, but, yeah, it's an interesting way to just uh, get to know your city. Um, I want to say I'm doing the same thing here because, um, you know, I'm on the app, on one app, and I'm new to the city. 
even though I'm in a, a, an open relationship, it's not a, like, it, I don't use it as much because I have friends here. I know yeah. people here and I know my way around and, and all that stuff. Is it, do you find that depending on your stage of life too, as far as like how established you are in your, maybe your relationship or your career or whatever, like your, your needs are different. Whereas when you're younger, you do cast a wide net, you meet a bunch of people, but maybe now, you know, you're in a different headspace. Yes. Yes and no. I will say though that LA, I think is a little different just because of the volume of people here. So you have to like filter out a lot, but also I didn't realize how, how wide the city is. Right. And so you can't like meet someone in Venice and expect to have some relationship with them. That That's doesn't another. require Venice, like Venice from here ain't so time. bad. Not at peak hour, but you know, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, you're not going to come between <laughs> six and eight in the morning and, or maybe six and 10. Yeah, he will 10. because he's going on running dates at well, seven in the morning. That was well, 10 no. years ago. I was much healthier. <laughs> That's before then. it takes yeah, an hour to get to like, wherever you're going. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah. convenience. I, I literally had just moved to Seattle at that point. I had met him literally outside my apartment, like like this uh, corporate housing I was staying in That's nice. on Elliott Bay. And so I was like, oh, we're already here. This is like convenient. Oh, of right. You course. were on his jogging route. I was on route. the track. Yeah, I was yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Uh, on Oh, that's, that makes route. so much more sense. Again, lazy. Theme <laughs> is do it all on the couch, right? Yeah. What was the name of the Glory Hole website? <laughs> like uh, interesting. I was so in... Um, uh, I don't need to explain a glory hole. Do no. I? Okay. Thank you. There's a website. There's a website, not an app, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Maybe I think for the users. Is no, so, universal. Well, I think we all know it's what it so is. It's so funny though, because at work today, I work at a tech company, and there was they had shot a video, and they had to create like a large size version of one of our products, and it literally looked like a glory hole, <laughs> and I had to stop myself from saying it. <laughs> at work because I thought, oh my God, I could get fired because there's like sensitivities around that. Well, or it could really just pick up as, you know, a meme. I think I, I heard I, of this. this. This, like, it told you we're different. Yeah, so the app is called Sniffies. I heard of this. Well, thing. it's not I an did. app. It can't be an app because of the sole purpose of it is, right. you know, sexual. And so Apple and um, Google actually don't allow those type of, uh, of apps that are explicitly for, like, pornography, essentially. Interesting. That's so why Tumblr is, why... is pornography. Uh, they're, like, that's, the, the sole purpose I didn't of it. Realize it's like, that. Yeah, so Tumblr, for example, they're that's why they banned. Market. Yeah, that's why they banned uh, Tumblr, or that's why Tumblr banned pornography is because. They all do that, or to a degree. Yes, and so I think there's a percent, a high percentage of the app was pornography. So then uh, Apple threatened to cut it from the store, from the Apple store, so people couldn't download it. And so then they cut it out. And, that, and that's kind of why there's like less porn there, although it's still porn. Um, so the app, uh, the website is called Sniffies. Um, and you could, um, I have never personally used it, but I have seen it on other people's phones. And it basically shows you a map and then it shows you um, uh, more explicit photos of what people are um, offering. And so um, it's usually a lot of penises and, and well, anonymous, I mean, anonymous. Right. So it's an anonymous it dating also. app, or anonymous hookup app, um, which, I mean, personally for me, I wouldn't use just because of my safety. Right. Because I still am concerned about my safety. Um, and so, or it's just what you're into. Yeah, if absolutely. you're not into that. But there's, it attracts men who are just probably curious as well, and they just want their dick sog, right? Yeah. And they don't need to necessarily know who's behind. Right. Whose mouth that is. It's about the physical. It's about the physical. It's mm. connecting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sex is really about... The, any sex is really about the physical. Once you're in your mind, it's something else. Yep. Um, I just appreciate... I bring it up because I mostly appreciate how simple it is. It's like, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm providing. And that's that. I... Uh, my hangups about dating and meeting people or connecting or hooking up or whatever. It's just... I just wish I didn't have all that. I just, just it, simply just fuck around or what, whatever it so, is. So let me deduce what you're trying to say is yeah. you want your own sniffies. <laughs> is that what you're saying? I want, I want to be as comfortable as a sniffies user. Okay. We can't solve that here. I know we can't. <laughs> Although I feel like I know, she's yeah, the this quest. Slowly. This podcast, I feel like this podcast is a journey to get to a point where I could be so like just very clear in my, my what I need and want and like go after it. I don't know. 
And so here but right we are. now, let's add it to your vision board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sniffies what does for the Tina. logo look like? <laughs> right? Sniffies for Tina. SFT. Sniffies for Tina. Sniffies. Although, yeah. I mean, no. Nah. I just like saying the word, too, because it's so silly. Um, there is uh, <laughs> a lot of, uh, well, branding is super interesting, but there's yeah. also a different lingo in dating apps and hookup apps that Clearly. you absolutely get accustomed to. It's like modern day hieroglyphics because every um, emoji. Yeah you know, is dedicated for something. And I mean, and how you position an app, even if it's not as explicit as Sniffies, it's, it d- determines how it's used. No. So I was actually introduced to some of that when I was in London a couple of years ago, I saw this very attractive person on Grindr and in their um, kind of profile instead of their name was uh, the, it was a, um, the cash, the cash app with way, the, the cash, um, Kind of emoji with the wings. emoji with the wings. Yeah, yeah, so the, flying, like, flying the flying, flying, the flying money. I never and knew I thought, what that was. That yeah, meant. and so I'm like, oh. And so I asked him, like, what does this actually mean, right? And so um, turns out he was a sex worker. Uh, totally respectable, but in that sense, you again put yourself in this risk of there's a transaction beyond physicality, and you can argue that you know these hookup apps are all just a transaction to begin with yeah you have to be careful but, about but the but there's language an exchange yeah. yeah and so and so it was interesting because then there was something absolutely there that needed to be exchanged and um and then so again, that's what that means yes yeah, so a sex worker a sex worker and he was looking for um is it and is that John. only in particular apps or is that across all i think forms? um the language translates but it also is in different um maybe different emojis. different cities yeah. mean different different slang and yeah. so um very recently i got introduced to this uh, term on that i got to know on grinder is this idea of gen g-e-n and mm-hmm. i thought i actually shared that with friends and and I actually asked someone on the apps i'm like what does gen mean and because he said looking for gen and mm-hmm. and you have all these, you know, to take it back, you have all these types of uh, slang that means drug use as well. So, like, the crystal or the diamond um, emoji would mean uh, that you're into crystal math. That makes Very sense. clever, these guys, right? Or these people. And so it's kind of scary when you have that type of level of filtering mm-hmm. in these apps. That's great. Yeah. and It's so- also great. Oh, for them, yes. And so, I mean, it's great for you if you know the Math lingo. Is great. Yeah, well, if you know the lingo, then you're like, oh, I can like yeah. block you. You might see that, and you might be like, oh, on well, record, I want Michael crystal. says yeah, crystal well, meth is great. You. Just so everybody knows, yeah, just yeah, want to make I sure we crystal meth. Yeah. clarify what <laughs> and, just and, happened. Oh, we're here. not talking about check down. But but then and then so back to this idea of Jen. I asked this person, was like, oh, I'm looking for. Are you Jen? And I'm like, I don't know what that means. It turns out Jen was a shorthand for generous. Because he was looking for a sugar daddy or a daddy mm. or, well, that's different. But like, right, he's looking, looking for, for a gen. He was gen. looking for a gen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so um, it was- I just, am too. I'm looking for a gen as well. Right? I just want to put that out there. <laughs> and the other day I got, uh, I was on one of the apps and this person first- I'm sniffing around for a gen. <laughs> you're sniffy, on sniffies. <laughs> and the first, resp- I said hello. And the first response was, are you a cash app gen daddy? Wow. Like, Wow. I'm a Venmo. I want, I want that on a T-shirt, <laughs> right? Cash app, yeah, Jen, yeah. Daddy. So it was again. It goes down to these. I think I, you should I, put that I, on a T-shirt. I, yeah, I know, right? I'm <laughs> trademarking that. Um, thank you to that person <laughs> who I don't know because I blocked him. And and this idea of like subcultures and and filtering and filtering. And so I think mm-hmm. the takeaway for me is just the idea of like you can absolutely go down to y- your. You get to know yourself in terms of what you exactly want. On the apps. We've come a far away from ASL, haven't we? Yeah, but oh, here's, here's yeah, what I appreciate. <laughs> here's I mean, I'm a marketer, and so ASL is the basics. I need right. psychographic yeah. beyond demographics. I need attitudinal and behavioral targeting because I need to know what the fuck you dream about and what your future beholds. Like, I need a crystal ball. This yeah, is all yeah. on about what? Ten, the, the, I guess there's 20 years of. 20 years? I guess That's it's 20 25. years. 20, 20, 20, 25 years. 25 years. Yeah, because oh, AOL is. Of, Oh, oh, of from that online I guess the, communication. Yeah, I mean, I I was on IRC, something. like you know, for a, like yeah. ASL. I remember using IRC in 1997. Right. What? That's the one. Oh my gosh, I haven't right? heard that. So in a worked long time. that back, and uh, yeah. what's the one with the funny sound and the flower? Um, funny sound, the flower. The it's a social networking app, um, and then you click it, and then it's it's before AIM, uh, ICQ. Oh. 
Oh my god. Right? Gosh. And so you got to meet I never used ICQ. Right? I never that's an ASL thing, yeah. right? Yeah, like yeah. you ask all of that yeah. stuff. And yeah. So yeah. Aim young, is where we've I lost all in. the young millennials. That's okay. That's yes. all right. Um, what I what's fascinating about hieroglyphics, mm-hmm. the use of hieroglyphics and really coded language is that even though it's it's coded, it's actually very clear in what it's oh, saying. It's crystal speak, clear. It's crystal <laughs> clear if you know if you speak the language. Yep. Whereas um, I've encountered mostly using very regular words, yep. <laughs> and it's all not genuine because you're not you're always presenting something else, yep. and the intent is something else entirely that you learn when you're a few dates in or even the first date in. Yep. I think it's so funny that you say that though, because back to the point about. Um, creating listings on classifieds and being so concise. Mm-hmm. Like, right, because you have like, only X amount, number of characters. Yeah, exactly. You and you pay the, for characters. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That That's a dating app where it's like yeah. only a tweet length. That's all you no, get. Uh, well, so on a profile, <laughs> you have, a, I think, 100. What was it? Then, uh, Cash App. Cash App Gen Daddy. <laughs> and so on. on so That's your Halloween you have costume. To be, I mean, it is hard for anybody, gay or straight or queer or whatever on the spectrum is, you are allotted specific character counts on the yeah. apps and you have to be like a fucking good copywriter, right? Because you have to be a great photographer, a great editor yeah. to have your, like you're essentially mm-hmm. judging a one centimeter photo. And then you have to have like, a, you know, 10 character descriptions. Well, you, get, you get a handful of photos on most of them. But not before. You, that's when you decide to click on it. That's like right. below so you're scrolling the fold up or and whatever. down. You just, yeah, you have yeah, to go past. So you go, yeah, you go. You have yeah. to like the initial photo, and you have to choose the photo. Like, yeah. What do you? Need you can't this? bury the lead, is what. Yeah. Yeah. Is happening. So it has to be like super quick, and there's some people out there who have like in all caps because it's all it's all abbreviated. Right. Like words can kind of you know <laughs> like ABC, Tinder gives you more EFG. than one twenty if I remember. Like you get a pretty. Chunky amount. You get to, yeah. But it, it's still a Real Housewives like tagline. You'd say something really, you know, quippy. Absolutely. And then I mean, shall we go and read people's now? <laughs> I'm sure we're not. Do, yeah, I, don't, I don't have any of them downloaded. I don't use any of them. I mean, I have Grinder on here. It's yeah. like a fun little um, a break. <laughs> <laughs> While he's pulling that up, in the meantime, what kind of things would you put on your, in that section? Oh, th- and actually, this is part. Or part, did you? This I I would try to put something, but Tinder. I, a lot of them they have nothing, or they're very short. No, so let's be real. Nobody is really reading any of those things and Not taking on them Tinder. seriously on on anything. I would argue on anything. Uh, on anything, it's really it's maybe. really yeah, just maybe. it's really know. all about that image. It's really all about that image, and then of course all the other variables that you present. You know, your age, your proximity, and your let's say your horoscope or whatever it is, you know, your religion and all those things um, that f- really filter you out. The other words are just meaningless. Okay. I, I don't, at this I don't, point. I, I feel think, like at this point. I don't think that's all. Uh, everybody, I mean, again, there's variance. I feel like I've talked to some people who are like, oh, no, I do read the profiles. And I've talked to a lot of these are swipers. Again, it's all in it's how all you, in, yeah, intent. yeah. I would look I'm through and I would look, like when I was scrolling around, and maybe this is the problem because I was kind of not really looking. I was looking for anything, really. I was like, oh, maybe connections, maybe not. I think deep down I was looking for something a little more sexual. But I was like, I wanted to be open to anything or try to convince myself I wanted to. Right. There's, so there's I'd be levels reading the it. different things. Be like, oh, what are you What are you into? And then you look at the pictures and you kind of like yeah. try to assess. But there's but levels to it. It's like you, you're like, so. you're, you know, wasn't. on the superficial level, you're going to hook up. And then deeper, if it if there's a connection there, then you date, right? You know, and, you and go I guess farther, farther that there. depends on the app you're using. Too. Yeah, I mean, once upon a time, I tried and I would try to present myself in the best way possible yeah. in a sentence or less. Um, and then what pictures? Not just like you you talked earlier about here or the sizing of the pictures and like what you're showing, but like yeah. what are you doing in those pictures? What are the what kind of pictures are you putting? Are it's you about, putting like it's about a, what's you know it's this a, is fun Tina, this is business Tina. Are you giving different no, aspects or what are you doing in those no, pictures? No, it's 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 come on, it's about how I guess it's how, different. How much of my it. face? Yeah, how much of my face and my like upper body you can see, and so you could see it presented in its best light. So it has nothing to do with activities. If it happens to be an activity that I'm engaged in in that picture, and it happens to be a good picture and flattering, then I'll put it. But it's not based off of that. It's Interesting. Just purely cute selfies. And a couple of fuller, like full body ones or, you know, or like a little bit more. So they get a sense of the, you know, I've clearly the, used the shape of my body and, you know, all those things. So I, I know, oh, I know what might, you're looking it, at. I might, well, it's different. I guess it might be different from what you might be looking at versus what I might be looking at. Um, or a male or a female uh, or a male 
and a male or male and male. Yeah. yeah depending I mean, I depending just know. on what you're on there for. Again, like I know I put a bunch of different variants. I was like, and maybe I'm getting too psycho- psychological about it when I'm like putting pictures when I use actually, pictures on it. Actually, that explains a lot because it was it was really kind of frustrating. And I'm and I you know I'm I'm superficial myself in, in the way I use those. I want to see you present in your best light. If you give me a bunch of pictures of yourself engaged in activities where I can't really tell what you look like, I would make sure you have that as well. I would yeah. make sure you have pictures where you see me, but I also want them to make sure. All right, I get a certain amount of pictures. I want to make sure you see kind of what I'm about. You know, I'm going to yeah. put like, okay, maybe there's something with uh, at the time I was playing music or something. I was like, oh, maybe I put something where it's like, okay, you can see that I have creative or some sort of energy of this. And maybe you see I do festival things. So I'll put some fun festival something. You see I'm a weirdo. You also see me, maybe I'll show you about my career or something. Or maybe, and then the other ones will be just about looks. You talk about your career? No, I probably don't. <laughs> I might, I might. Well, he has a cool nerd. career, I right? Have a fun sure. So that, and then it's so visually it's like, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, here's him yeah. booming. There's uh, not too many pictures of me booming anybody cool, but. I actually, that's, that that reminds me. I, I would never really put the things that. At least a span of time, more the more recent era that I would that I used dating apps more heavily, I would definitely exclude what my job was and what I was into because I was into weightlifting and CrossFit, and I was into mixed martial arts. Did you think that was intimidating, or did no? You? Because it always invited. It attracted a certain type. Yeah, but type but but the conversation was not of any value because. Ugh, it's like someone posting pictures of their tattoos and saying, don't, don't talk about my tattoos. You didn't want to talk about that. That's why you didn't post it. Well, unless, you unless, unless you, um, I don't want to engage in conversations about those subjects. If you're not, if you're not, um, also a practitioner, because it was always kind of, um, I don't know. It was really revealing, as to what they thought of those things. Maybe they were intimidated by it. I don't know. But it was just like really corny kind of, you know, they would ask things like, how much do you, or I don't know. They, it, would, it would just be like really uncomfortable flirting and they would try to demean you a little bit. And do you think or, they were trying or, to be clever as well? They're or? trying too hard to be clever. It's and, like pickup lines. And the, worst thing, the worst thing you could do is try too hard. So they're trying too hard to be clever. They would try to act like they knew stuff. But then but you also can't really not. not try at all, too. There's a, there's a fine line of trying too hard and then also just kind of like throwing the line away. I hate it when people try any line. Just talk to me. If you're genuinely curious, then just ask me like a very genuine question. Versus just being like, I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You, you've he got might 14%. Be, you're antagonizing yeah, those guys. Like, yes. And so if you're, I mean, it's a game that yeah. you put the gauntlet down. And so I assume blonde guys would go, well, am I part of the 14%? Yeah. And I'm, you know, hair color is an interesting thing, but in, in the gay apps, especially in um, cities, I, I think with anything, even Twitter, and, and we know the internet is filled with crazy people, especially if you're anonymous, like there's a lot of people who put out their, um, uh, they mask mask them under preferences, but mm-hmm. they're really racists, right? Like mm-hmm. the language they use is pretty terrible. And so in the gay community in the past few years, a lot of people have been trying to get rid of that type of language. And so this idea when they would say on their profiles, this is the headline, no fat, no fats, no femmes, no Asians. And so when you consider all of those three combined, which at one point in my life, and I think at this point in my life, I'm all three of those, right? Depending on Hardly. how I see myself, yeah. but the Asian part, I can't get rid of. Maybe two out right. of three. Yeah, two out of three, <laughs> always. And so there's that idea that people are just like othering you even more because of what you are and well, I was going to say, identify. that's how I actually read that line is that Absolutely. when you say, when you're calling out blonde, you're not necessarily saying blonde, you're saying the conventional standard or what the view of beauty is. Correct. And that they prefer the people on the outside, the pariahs. The pariahs. And so then, <laughs> which is terrible. I'm into pariahs. But, yeah. but, but then when you kind of flip that, you get, get into the subcultures of like what people like or dislike. When I actually found this guy, um, and I'll, I'll find his profile. Um, it was so, uh, he is, I sent this to friends. Wait, as you're looking for that though, on the subject of, um, filtering out very explicitly by, you know, racial types yeah. and all that. I think about this a lot because as an Asian woman who often dates white men mm-hmm. and then the white men tend to ha- be ones who often date Asian women. Mm-hmm. I really... I don't know how to feel about that. I think about that all the time. Like, what? why is it that I have that preference? It's obviously been conditioned into me because I was raised here. Maybe there's a little bit of self-hatred in there. I don't know. But um, also, at the same time, like, you can't... It's hard to politicize what it is that I'm into sexually, right? Am I allowed to... Can I just be attracted to what I'm attracted I to? I think, you yes. You can't force I mean, it. The answer is yes, but I think there's a language that you can use. Certainly. Like, within, yeah. I, I think there is a, here's what I like versus here's what I don't like. And So you're not demonizing the taste no, or the preference. No, of course not. It's, it's the just language. More like it's the how language. you represent yeah, yeah, it. It's yeah. how you express it. And I think... I mean, that's kind of my kind of soapbox is it's okay to like white men, Tina. I do too, <laughs> uh, that's but I'm not going to explicitly, but I also like other types of men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the the thing that those people miss out on is the full expression of having experiences with different types of people. Do you guys have success stories of having, you, I mean, obviously right now, currently you're dating somebody that you met on Grindr. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you're, you guys are a solid. We're pretty solid. Pretty yeah. solid, but you're open also. Yes. So you're still you're still perusing. Um, I think th- that's a different like being open to us is you know we have kind of an agreement of where that comes. I think we know people um, in our friend group that also ha- are open for different reasons. But um, we started in a long distance relationship, which just made sense for us to be open. Um, so that's kind of why we're there. Uh, but yeah, we met on Grinder. Um, basically for a hook i was traveling to la and uh, we met i won't go into the details but we met one morning and it was a very successful meeting uh and then we uh, had just kept talking afterwards and it was great what was the turning point um like because you met to hook up but then mm -hmm. there was a little bit more you guys kept talking well it was i mean we kind of figured out that we had a connection because we had this you know the medium was was actually so intimate because we were texting and then that became like uh, one phone call and then it became FaceTime. And I think that lent to such intimacy of of the setting, right? And you hadn't been in, you were on your way to LA already? I was here and I okay. was leaving that day. Okay. And then... Um, so it was a quick, a quick connect. It was a quick connection, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was successful. You can call it that, a quick connect. Yeah, a quick connection. But I mean, I guess, you know, then that kind of evolved into, I think where I was going to is that uh, because we were on FaceTime in different settings, like we'd be in the car, I'd be doing laundry. I would, it was almost like taking this person to different parts of my life. You mean after the fact? After the fact. After, yeah, right? yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was interesting uh, in, in, with regards to like how we fully connected and kind of evolved. And I think 
there was kind of a, it was just a natural evolution. And after four months, um, we'd seen each other a few times. I would come down here and he went up to Seattle and it, it became kind of official, unofficial, because we were still kind of separate and we were still in different cities. And then we kind of just like made it work. And uh, on Tinder, I'd met, I'd mentioned, I'd met a guy um, and we were chatting for months, it was. And that was the last time I used it. And it was kind of intense and it was a buildup because we clearly like, we're connecting textually. It was a great textual yeah. chemistry. Te- I love a textual connection. Right. And so the textual <laughs> chemistry was pretty intense and we actually met, we'd met and actually unintentionally bought a car that day because I was just impulsive and crazy. Which it was is, a good day. This was your was date? A you good bought a day. car? Yeah. I bought a car and I was late for the date because I had, I was looking and browsing with a friend oh, okay. and suddenly. It was before the date you bought Yeah, before the date. I thought the date was you went no, 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 and bought the car. No, no, no. God, no. How awkward, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. You want to take a drive? Yeah. Cash <laughs> app Jen Cash Daddy. App Jen Daddy. <laughs> right here. And um, I was late for the date because of it because I thought it would be a much faster transaction. Turns right. out buying, buying car takes a few no, hours. No, it takes yeah, a while. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so, um, and it was unintentional. So I had to move everything and a friend, a dear friend helped me um, uh, move all my stuff. And so I was running late for this date and we had gone to i'm so sorry i'm late i was just buying a car well yeah that was yeah, the yeah, line yeah. but That's a great line we met at um uh, at a mexican restaurant in seattle and he was there first and he was super chill and i i don't like being late but i'm always late and so i basically show up and he sat at a corner looking at the restaurant right and so i walk in and he's there and so i kind of like walk over of course i know what he looks like because right. he sent me enough photos and um, I kind of go up and, and literally he stands up. And before I even said a word, we basically start making out like at the restaurant. Oh, right. Because the textual chemistry. Because the textual chemistry. I was yeah. just like, well, let's see how this translates. And it's it was hey. um, it was great and kind of memorable because there's kind of relief <laughs> involved and kind of mixed in yeah. with, you know, some kind of sexually charged And he'd been sitting there waiting for you. I mean, like 10 minutes, right? I warned the person that <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and so that was that. And um, I think that was kind of successful in that it, it kind of felt like to your point about connecting. It was <laughs> like we had really connected. Yeah. How was it after that, though? Um, well, that was the one that we couldn't really figure out our um, our positions and types. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it didn't oh, really like that bummer. prompts you that prompts you to ask that more. Yeah, up front now. yeah, bummer. Right, that's a lesson. But um, is that a very forward question you ask now, or you just use the apps in particular? I mean, the app is there for what? Yeah. It well, is, I mean, right? some, so it gets a filter. But yeah. but yeah, I think. I mean, I do. I regret not asking that. No, because it, I actually had a great. Do you still have a connection with this person? No. Oh, cause so yeah, that it was it fizzled yeah. as a result. Oh, I, like, I cut them no off. intimacy. So if they're listening, <laughs> oh. please don't come after me. <laughs> no, I like to. I used to. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. Not used to. I still do. And so it's still do. Sorry, I gotta still cut them off. Still like, do. I, I kind of. I cut off. People. You still talk to them? Yeah. You, you, you so like on the apps, you can block people, right? But why cut off? You had a two months. You said yeah. Right? Two months of connecting and yep. intimacy, and mm-hmm. just because you couldn't get positions right, you still had a friendship. I think there, it's no? not beyond that. Like, I think oh. the position was like a, a you know, a causal for copy. for like you know the impact and the effect of. Got it. Um, but we really just didn't um, connect in different ways, and maybe that, that was makes like more five sense. years ago. That was yeah. five years ago, and maybe there's a different narrative there, but it just didn't work. And let's be real too. Even if you have a great textual connection with somebody, when it's a sh- during a short duration. It's it's really lust is what you're feeling. Oh, absolutely. You it's can also and I love lust. Lust is great, yeah. but it, it does fizzle out forward. if it doesn't yeah. dick forward. Yes, dick yeah. forward. And you can curate your text, you know, so everything could can look a little more cushy. Yes. Yeah. Well, well I think you can't. I, it's harder. Not that you can't filter yourself, but it's harder to like filter your natural expressions the yep. things that come out when yeah, you don't get person. to edit you don't get to back so, i'm sorry don't look no. at that face I, I, well, yeah, you yeah, sorry. let me try this again reactions reactions. Yeah, reactions and i i would like to think i used to be great at dating but i think you have to filter so much of your life experiences i wouldn't say sanitize but do I think, you i feel like now it's a, it's the it's the era of vulnerability you're allowed to share all that are you though <laughs> like, as i'm know? talking i'm actually like should i have said any of this <laughs> but but i think um Part of it is like being an open book. Right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. It that, depends on your brand. If your brand is that of an open book, then by all means. Right. But if you, you know, if you have a little bit of uh, guardedness about your your life, then whatever, you know. 
um, about texting and, and pickup lines or, mm-hmm. or openers. Mm-hmm. It's funny because on an app, we're pressured to have a clever opener. But in real life, I just want you to say hi. So it's just like starkly different approaches huh. to meeting somebody. Interesting. Right. As a result, uh, <laughs> I just got a text from my girlfriend, Amazon Dating. I don't know if she... Amazon has a dating app? I guess so. I don't know if she knew if we were actually talking about um, dating apps right now. But she yeah. literally just texted me, Amazon Dating. That um, came out of left field. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Um, Facebook has a dating app. It looks I, like no, I think or, that's or a joke. hot singles near you starting at four ninety nine with prime delivery. It looks oh, like a joke. It looks like a joke. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, AmazonDating.co. Yeah. yeah, it's a joke. It, it's Valentine's it Day. It looks like a joke. Yeah. Coming up. It, it is pretty funny though. I'll let you guys scroll on that. It's literally yeah. it's like that's pretty that's pretty clever prime. though. Yeah, it's yeah very that's clever. clever. No, I see it. Yeah. Facebook um, has dating. I haven't tried it yet. I thought about um, you know. I mean, I think Initiating it's just a Craigslist model. Is, it, is that yeah. on the marketplace? <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's built on the same. But I'm sure it's built on the same thing. On the same yeah. platform. Yeah. Sorry, what was your question? I don't even recall anymore. Oh no, I was talking about pickup lines. I was oh saying, yeah, sure. I was saying that in real life, what I would like, and then what on what what is current, like what's good on apps, is that you have to be clever. You have to throw out those really corny things that in real life don't fly. Right. I just want you to come up to me and say. Hello, my name is so and so. I, you know, it's nice that, to meet you. What's your, like, like very normal conversation versus on apps. You have to perform. Yeah, I, I think, I, it, and, and, it, then and that's that, that's to that to me is the the thing that I really don't does not think you sit well with me. And, I, and I, maybe this is just a mentality that uh, that's engraved in me because because uh, as hetero male, you kind of have this thing pushed into you that you have to make some sort of you have to like kind of go after. Your, your potential mates. If, so at a bar, the idea is, okay, that's where one-liners came out in the first place, or pickup lines. I don't do pickup lines, but I never knew how to break conversation well. And I had a buddy once who walked up and just like, my buddy and I are bored. Um, we're, we're, we're bored of talking to each other. Can we sit with you guys? And I was like, this that's is great. a great opener. It was a perfect opener. And we really were. We had nothing. We hadn't talked to yeah. each other. I think if, if I, that was me, and I was then like, we had a well, adventure. are you guys boring? Then... No, we, were, so we later, no. He right? said he said we had we run out of conversation. Oh, okay. And we Got saw it. he saw two girls sitting over on the other side, and we were just like staring at each other for a minute. Um, and uh, he walks across. He's like, hold on. He walks across. And he's like, those girls are kind of cute. Um, he says this, and I'm like, what? What did you say for them to invite us over? Like it. It was an interesting opener. He yeah. told me I was like, that's a great opener. I'm gonna I'm gonna utilize that opener because it, it's an honest opener. When I don't think I ever utilized the opener, but then we had a fun adventure. Here's my issue with openers. As soon as you walk into any room and you have openers in your head and they're well, called and openers, th- that's the issue. If you see an opportunity and you come up with something to say and it's like, you Fair know, enough. there's just when you when you when you come in there guns blazing with some lines, it just well, comes. That's a line. Re- I, if it's an honest opener, if but I never actually opener, I never actually yeah. use it. I just yeah. thought to myself, that's a great opener in a situation like this. I would totally use that because what else are you going to do? Yeah. I mean, if you have a sucky personality. But I think there's... Just say hi. Hi, my name is Michael. But that's I don't, in real I don't, life, ha- I don't have a sucky personality, that, though. No, I but guess I'm saying you, my point is, yeah. is, like, with anybody who has... Like, don't... don't I think it's over Don't thought. look up... Don't Google pickup lines no, and I never have did. them in your holster. Nobody you should do that. Like, have, it's actually toxic. Yeah, has yeah. someone yeah. actually used the pickup line on you that was so I'm memorable? Sure. And some people go out... No, it's not It's not that there's a like a memorable pickup line. It's just more, like, the the act of it. To me, it's just... I, so one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone tries too hard because it's just you could just see it all over them, right? And you feel it, and it just invades your space. We used to go out this with this guy. Um, it, was, it was a couple friends of ours, and uh, we always had this guy who would go out. We call him Machine Gun Andy, and he would just go out, oh. and he was just like, <laughs> da, 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 da. he would just everybody. You would Hi, just see Andy. him. He would just I, I don't even know if uh, we're even Facebook friends anymore, but he would just go out and he would just shoot. To everybody, and um, and I, I guess it worked for him because it's it's a, it's the same as Tinder. It's a volume game. It's a well, it, it, is, it, it, it absolutely it's, it's, yeah. Analog it's Tinder game. is what he was doing. And there are some people I would say that have poor taste and would be into that. But goddamn, just say hi. If you don't have, fucking- I mean, he, I don't know that he had lines per se, yeah. but he would definitely go up and approach like everybody until he yeah. got. But a hit. don't you absolutely admire those people? I do have. admire that some he people had have that kind of scruples. charm. Yeah, absolutely. It's just really a tone thing, right? Or yeah. like you know, some people just 
But you have also- a way with words that some others don't. But I, I don't, for me personally, I don't necessarily base it on just what they say in that tagline, right? It's just like a full package type thing. But I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I, on an, on an app, I am superficial. I want to see if that's somebody that I'm sexually attracted to because that's all the information I have. Everything else is artificial, really. Like even the information they put about themselves on their, like their height, their job, all those things can be lies. And if their pictures are real, that's the only thing I can base off of. If they're real. Or use uh, another person's pictures yeah. catfishing and goes back to the them. beginning of the internet yeah you know, wait absolutely. can we talk about your catfishing experience um, i've had a couple that are kind of not yeah they, they i do remember them because they were awful um there was one where and this is i can't imagine a catfish experience to be <laughs> well well so i i think uh this is very very early on on a dating kind of hookup app um my i, I had met this person online and they look great. It was, you know, cute, whatever. And this is like long ago. And he shows up at my apartment and I had an, intended to do things that day, like go to the mall and, and go to the grocery or whatever. And so rather than have this person who was their photo, but it was, their photo was, and I'm going to sound superficial, but just because I don't like being lied to is it Younger? was like 40 pounds lighter Ooh, in the photos that happens a lot, and so yeah, yeah and so and it wasn't it's an older, muscle, it it was wasn't, an older photo yeah it was right. an older photo and it wasn't 40 pounds of muscle because if it was then he would have been okay um again the, that's a preference and um we he, say what we like what we don't, yeah, we don't we, like. What, what we don't like and he um and in, rather than actually be stuck with that person i thought well let me at least give you an opportunity to like, maybe you're nice because clearly there was some connection there. And so rather than have him at my apartment, we then just went out on a day where it, my intention was to exhaust this person and just be like, okay, well, I've already done my chores. You can kind of carry my groceries with me and then be done with it. And I think that was kind of a a better way of dealing with it. But um, a much better way is I explained that, um, uh, experience with a friend and he had said to me well you know it would be easier to actually say to the person this is not going to work and give them back their time because you win back yours yeah, and that yeah. was absolutely like a game changer but, but this scenario this specific specific one is a little tough because it's not like a catfish situation where it was somebody entirely different, right? Yep. It was it was them. Yeah, it was them. And every all I'm sure all the other information was accurate to who they are. Yep. It's just the only thing was that it was an older picture where, in which they were 40 pounds lighter. Yes. But the other one is so that's uh, I've seen that with hair too and people like get specific make sure it's updated about what even as specific as how short yeah. your hair is. Yeah. Cuz I mean the It matters to, to a lot of people. Pro- yeah. yeah. Well and no, it's not just that cuz you can recognize the person, but it matters to no, them I mean, for I mean, the this is it's it's an honesty thing it's like yeah. i mean it's an honesty it's like I mean, you're absolutely. going to meet this person this is who <laughs> this is who you know yeah and i think that kind of my friend giving me that advice is absolutely recognizing that your time is valuable because w- yeah. so again back to my uh, prolific dates in seattle when i first got there is i decided to go to this person's house after chit-chatting it was a weak moment it was a sunday evening and i walked into this person and in in the gay dating world, there is it's very nuanced, but some of it's very kind of direct. But a lot of people's whole thing is this anonymous type of thing, right? And so they will they will say on their profiles, you know, the doors unlocked, the lights are closed, I'll be at my bed ready. That's blah, wild blah, blah. to me, by the it's way. It's wild and it happens. And, yeah, you know, people are into it. And so um, I, I meet this guy, right? I meet this guy, and he <laughs> goes, "Well, just come up to my apartment. The doors unlocked." And that would have been like an alarm like there right. here's a red flag right. and so i go i walk in and the apartment is like pitch black but the view of seattle was stunning so i stayed <laughs> for the view right yeah, spectacular yeah, yeah. you could see the whole skyline left out a cup of tea and a totally. chocolate to, yeah. oh, please do not accept drinks like let's be clear <laughs> right right oh yes yes no, 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 no. sorry see, i've and never so, done this before yeah and so then i go and i'm like okay and he he was he kind of walked out he was in a it was in his underwear and i could tell it was kind of the same person but it was like that person like years younger and this was someone who was absolutely just 
like conning people, right? To to have a connection and it's this, actually, this, this is still the catfish or not? Yeah, this, it was a second. This is a different different catfish. situation, different okay. catfish. But this person was um, a lot older than they represented in their photos, and it just felt like again I was being cheated out of my time. Yeah, and and that to too me much is the older worst thing for like was a it lot the, older. A lot, right? okay. yeah. And so, but if they had presented themselves, at, you know, accurately. That may would, would that have changed anything? You think he might not have shown up. Yeah, I, he probably wouldn't have sweated that much older. How many? How I many years I older? Wanted. Was like five, 10, um, 15, I, 20. a lot, a lot okay. older. Yeah, like noticeably older. Noticeable. Well, like your yeah. your skin yeah. was like perky. Yeah. Now it's, yeah, now it's wrinkly. Yeah, and so I think there's and and you know that was an experience from when I was a lot younger and you know would i do that today i have a different point of view of the people i interact with surely but i think honesty is the thing that you absolutely need to present because you're wasting the effort that you can you're also you can also shoot a little higher and a little lower now <laughs> well yeah that's well it's also true. it's also You've a, a trust variant. thing hello it's a, it's if you can't present yourself thing. as you are in that moment yeah that's a huge problem you have an issue with yourself in your current state well what I've learned from this conversation is that um, maybe my attitude about dating apps is very specific to me I think everybody's attitude is I it's feel like I think like I don't have a very good uh, approach to it and it, yeah. it, maybe my attitude about it and also my use of it yeah. I uh, I had this conversation with Ellie and she, she had spoke, she had said, she had brought that to my attention. Like she talked about intent and how you're using it. And I expressed how I had been using it. And she was like, oh yeah, well, uh, this is how I use it. And I was like, oh, blows my mind. Cause I always. Did I, she just hook up with people? Is that what, how she uses dating apps? Uh, no, she was using it. I think it was primarily to go from place to place. And some of them would result in hookups, but it wasn't for that. It was about. Um, meeting people when she was traveling because she travels for work. Yeah. Right. Um, I think she probably did use it for hookups at points too. Um, it's available. I know she has. Um, but I think that her main intent was to have a connection of sorts. This word connection, I keep on just zeroing in on that. Connection could just I be a conversation, an I know, interesting but night. I, I think the problem is if it's meant to connect, when I open up that app and I see a picture and some words, it does not connect to me. Right, because you have to. At this stage, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather just do an old school meetup. But, okay, here, here's... Because the physicality and, like, that kind of whatever energy is happening between us is really important to me. Well, you're going to go that meet up. The idea that, is to go meet up. Like, there's hey, such I'm, a long song and dance to get there, though. Not always. always. Yeah. You guys. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> well, so my, Do you have an example? Well, my one success story is it was... I think I had some. Pic- I had success stories I, too. I was just like pictures it's of, of Burning Man, and there. I think this is where the pictures of me doing activities served me. Yeah. Um, because I was looking for someone who was into that community, and it was just like, hey, you wanna? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in Burning Man. You wanna go talk about it? And I was like, cool. And that was our that that was the first thing she said, yep. and then that was our date. Like we set a date for that weekend, and I was like, I liked how direct that was. So the song and dance, right? To me, is in places again where I've lived or I travel and the diaspora of my friends my friendships right and (laughs) i'm lucky i'm very fortunate to have all of those types of connections across my life (laughs) is i show up in a city and now and again someone comes up from the past that suddenly wants to connect maybe in different ways maybe it's you know quick coffee maybe it's physical and um this recently happened um a few months ago on my last trip i was in sydney and i was in one of these apps and a torso, because sometimes you can you can show whatever part of your body you mm-hmm. want, right? But you, you just can't be you know overly explicit. Like you can you can actually you can't show on un- just underwear. You have to be clothed, or you can only show your torso. And a torso literally messages me and says, <laughs> "Hey, Raph." And I thought, well, "Who the fuck is this?" Right? Because it's wait, a torso. Is your username on Was it a nice no, 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 okay. name? It okay. was a uh, doable. Torso. Okay, it's a doable torso. As long as and, uh, as long as the goods on top or or bottom were worth. Man, only on Grinder can you trade on just a torso because that would not fly. There are the there are torsos on all sorts of right. hetero apps. Yes, but does it work though? When I see a torso on Tinder, I that's think a only left. if you want it to work for I, you. I, I let it work for me. You're a bunch of hoes. I think I, it may be I'm different. Proud. <laughs> it, 
what you said, yes. But I yeah. also think that I, I mean, I, I see torsos and it doesn't work for me. Like I'm right. like, I like the torso, but I don't, I Some want people are the package. Feet, right? It's Some a very like specific feet. message. I knew a guy who was in the I'm not actually, I'm not you actually trying to, yeah. to slut shame at and so, and all. So I'm then, just saying that like, that just is not, you know, because to my point earlier about hieroglyphics and whatnot, yep. right? Torso is a hieroglyphic saying, this is what I, this is what I'm trying to, the message I'm sending. Yes, but every torso, I mean, if it's worked out in the same way, it all looks the same, but this, you know, this yeah, torso yeah. was like, are there Something. defining features, right? right? Yeah. And so, um, of course, you know, he's piqued my torso. interest. Yeah, yeah, he's piqued my interest. Yeah. And so then I go, uh, yes, do I know you? And turns out this person and I dated 15 years ago. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, and so... You, tw- you dated a torso. <laughs> well, I dated a torso then. And he was, was it a, a torso lot then? Younger. He was a lot younger then. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So, okay. and so then I um, we started picking up a conversation. And back then, 15 years ago, we had this like kind of intense like connection. He's He was like, I think six, he is six years younger. And so we kind of picked up the conversation again, um, you know, figuring out because it had been 15 years. So where is that person in their life? Right. Where am I in my life? Why are we on these apps, right? And so to connect in that way. And and we actually uh, had met and um, we had, you know, planned an encounter as much as we could. And um, it kind of just brought back a lot of memories from like when... Positive, negative. That engagement was... And let me tell you, it was bad then, it was bad now. (laughs) And so, you know, there was, and I think, you know, in that kind of respect, it was, I don't think it was, you know, when I I kind of make fun of it, but really it was actually um, in a way that I would still connect with this person, maybe another 15 years or maybe another two or whatever, but that we only put our kind of connection in a specific arena of our lives. Maybe maybe it is just a coffee date. Could be not. could be a friend person. Yeah, but it just but so you never gave it that, that chance. Had, yeah, exactly. But yeah. we just happened to connect on a, a hookup app or a gay dating. Well, you app. were talking about cutting people out too earlier, and I think that that happens is you you put them in this arena, and you're like, okay, if they're not in this arena, they're nothing. And there's right. a lot of people with that mindset. It's like if I've dated them or if I've had that, I'm like, for me, I don't want to at this point in my life, and it's different than where I was five, ten years ago. Right. I don't want to have someone in my world. Period. If I don't want to continue connecting with them, unless it's like a work person, it's whatever. It's a work yeah. person. But like, if I'm going to bring you into my friend world or my intimate world, I would like to at least be able to continue some capacity of our intimate relationship. And right. it doesn't have to be fucking. It could be just a friendship is an intimate relationship. Absolutely. We have an intimate relationship. And I think the the medium fooled me a little bit into yeah. trying to spark something with that person. Well, because right. it sounds like you didn't remember. It, come, it comes from the app, Well, too. I mean, it, so it I, do, I do remember, source. actually, very vividly. So but, you remember it was but bad. But it had to, I, I needed the experience again. Yeah. It's like, you know how when you watch Titanic, and then you're like, oh, yeah, this is sad. And yeah, you know, he let go of the fucking door. Like, and you then remember you're it was sad then, but then you need to, like, revisit it. But you need it. to revisit yeah, it. Yeah, and like kind of had you know, gone back to, but, but the thing is I didn't remember any of that because I remembered how great our connection was and the relationship was beyond the sex. Mm -hmm. And so I think, um, that rekindling was not a physical thing. It was a different level. And so I think to, to be reminded of the value of that person beyond physicality was so important for me. Right. It, It just so happened to be that we had met in a different way because like if I, if I, if you said to me, Oh, would, would you consider this person great? And do you want them part of your life? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We sort of shortchanged those other types of connection because we are on the quest, especially on the dating app. Obviously we're on a quest to find a companion. I mean, I'll go back to an earlier part of the conversation, which is, um, you don't want to be lied to. You don't want to be con, but you know, to spin that around is you just want to be authentic. Yes. (laughs) Because a lot of these, like how we present ourselves and I, I absolutely do this is it's a filter of a filter, right? Mm-hmm. Like you can connect your social media apps on any of these dating apps. Like on Tinder is connected via Facebook, I think for me at least. And you can add Instagram or whatever. And there's a little kind of feed there. And so if your Instagram is filtered already of your, the highlight really of your life, and then you choose the top five to go on to, to Tinder or to Grindr or whatever, mm-hmm. it's a filter of a filter of a filter. And right. then you don't, you kind of lose 
the authenticity there. And it becomes kind of like this homogenous culture, right? Everyone's gone to Mykonos. Everyone's gone to Coachella. <laughs> everyone's gone to like, uh, you know, like yeah. Runyon Canyon. Yeah, yeah. And so then you, be, you get to start to go, well, who's so interesting? And I think in the attention economy, I'll go back to that. You absolutely have to like put put the, where you're so unique. Yeah, put forth your best. Yeah, put what, forth your best. What different? I mean, you're you're marketing yourself. So what, well, but, but what's your thing. differentiator? So I'm a, it turns out, so I'm a marketer, right? And so what I end up doing is like A-B testing, <laughs> images, copy, <laughs> yeah. headline, hieroglyphics. Analytics I reports, A-B you test get my those age, back. <laughs> right? Because, you know, people think I look younger. I A-B test my race because like, you know, or like I put it on, I put it in. And yeah, until yeah. you see what kind of works. Um, and I say that jokingly about race because I can't change who I am and I love who I am. But when you kind of, kind of look at that and, and look at a profile and what people are looking for, it really is like, well, what am I really filtering for? Am I f- filtering myself to please other people? So it's kind of like a quest for like, well, who am I really? We do that outside the apps, though. That we do that. Yeah, 100%. and I was gonna say we do that outside the apps already, but to put it in a very like eight like dot dials on and off, yep. that just sounds yeah. so exhausting, right? Like all we want. That's why we go to therapy. Like what? <laughs> what is our authentic self? What do we actually want? So then to then put filters all on top of that. That's the, I think that's the part that's just really hard to. Well, I mean, for anyone, gay, straight, or whatever in the spectrum, it's just exhausting. I, I don't want to put up with that. Yeah. That's, I think that's what, that's like the, the hang up there. Yeah. That really put that into Hones view. it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That really just honed it in. It just justified a white tone. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to be single forever. Anyways. On that note. <laughs> On that note. Okay. <laughs> Poor Tina. Yeah. No, it's fine. So I'm, any I'm developers out there it. can uh, create single. sniffies for Tina. We'll <laughs> be marketing for you. Yeah. Um, it's actually going to be our fundraiser, right. Sniffies for yeah. Tina. Sniffies Find us on GoFundMe. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be our spring event. Yeah. Yeah. It'll benefit yeah. the Australian firefighters. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Right? It'll yeah, be banned from go. Instagram. There though. you go. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you for letting us Well, thank you. Invade thank you for letting me share rough. some stories. I didn't think we were videoing, so if any yeah. other people I've mentioned are around, say hi. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. The connection is there. Yeah. Um, appreciate you letting us invade your space sure. and picking your brain on the subject of dating apps. Sure, my pleasure. Yeah. I feel like it did turn into more of the Raft show, which is great. I love it. Oh, is it yeah. really? Yeah. Well, we can cut all of that. No, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. I just, I'm just, it's... just saying that out loud so that you, you know, like in case you're like, oh, I feel like I would just... You know, talked all about data. I think I think you had whatnot. a lot of experiences with it. I, yeah. I personally didn't have a lot to offer in the experiences. I believe you have more. I have no, no, not even. Like, I don't even have enough. As you were talking, I was like, I want to share some stories, but nothing, nothing really. Like, I um, I met somebody on Match, and I dated for a dated well, I mean, him for a is, month. Yeah. And we're still friends, and that's it. There's like yeah. nothing. There's like nothing to share. But, but this that. is like touching the surface of yeah. like what you know, uh, memorable connections I have and. I actually, it's funny when I meet friends and I go, well, tell me about your experiences and what's there and what's in the apps or who are we looking at or mm-hmm. whatever. And it turns out all of my friends like different things and are looking for different things. And some just want to watch and talk to people and some just want to collect photos and some just want, you know, pure sex, which is great. And some want a relationship, which is amazing. And so I think, you know, like all of that was kind of built through, uh, you know, I've been on this app on and off, like I said, for 10 years and other apps. Mm-hmm. And I absolutely have made great connections from them. Um, some great, some not so great. So yeah. Yeah. So I guess the yeah the the, the moral of the story is it, it, it is really what you yeah. seek to get out of it. Oh, totally. I mean, like uh, I was talking to my therapist uh, I think a year ago, and we were talking about this idea of reframing experiences and how um, you kind of just shift the narrative. Like this one guy, and I'll end on this. This one guy I met on I think. Tinder, and this was in... And you told me Tinder is a relationship app. It's a relationship app, yeah. yeah. And so um, he lived south of where I was, about like a few miles. And so that was just like, this is going to be effort because I got to drive. And um, that person was great. But like, you know, lesson from him is I learned to use coconut oil as lube. I mean, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Thank you. (laughs) That was a great lube. Microbial. I use it for a lot of things. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. I'm like, it's good lube. It's good massage oil. It's good moisturizer. Good moisturizer. Well, not all the time. You can make a toothpaste. On that note, thank you again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Um, two ingredients. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Thanks. Can't wait to talk about dick again. 
Do you have a dating experience you want to share? Or maybe you have a question you want us to explore? Visit DeeperThanSexPodcast.com to contact us or leave us a voice message. Deeper Than Sex is produced by Tina Lee and Michael David Johnson. Music is by Charmer and Clay. Check them out on Spotify or wherever you get your music. Thanks for listening to the show. And don't forget to rate and subscribe and follow us on the gram at Deeper Than Sex Podcast.